to use the watercolor box studio, you can um, take a piece of this special heavy paper. You need to make sure that you just use one. If you mess up, please fix it because it's expensive. We're not going to give each person a new one when they mess up. You can take one of the dry erase markers, draw your picture with a dry erase marker on the back, name, last name, and section, and make sure that you do it with the black crayons that are in there. Please don't use the marker because sometimes they go through the paper. And then if you want to, there's a couple different things you can do. There's white crayons in here also, and we can experiment with those and see how they create a wax recess. So that's one little thing I'll try right there. Brush away the little bits. And then you'll notice there's large and small or pointed water brushes. Guys, these water brushes are expensive. If they get messed up, we're not getting new ones. So please be really nice to them. Don't open them up for any reason unless I tell you to. Don't pound them and don't dig in the paint because it wrecks Mr. Brush. You want to keep his hair nice. So here's how they work. You can get, um, these are regular metallic and glitter watercolors. And I like to start by using the regular first because it shows up pretty well underneath the glitter and the metallic. So you can see where I painted or where I drew with the white crayon, it kind of makes the white crayon pop back through the paint. That's one way to do it. Um, you can also, if you need to change color or clean the brush, use the sponge and just squeeze it very gently until the brush is clean. You can paint with water on the paper so the paper's wet and then get a little bit of a color on that wet paper and it makes a very like misty soft edge. It's kind of nice. You can clean your brush and let's see, I'm going to paint these in on this one. I think I'll use the metallic. It'll be kind of different and cool. So I can get some of this metallic blue here, paint over the top. And you can take the paints out of the box. You can take the set out when you use it. I'm just leaving it in here for the video. And you can see it's kind of metallic and glittery. Um, the other thing that you can do is put the glitter on last and then the glitter shows up really well. Um, if you're doing it this first week, please do a design that's about peace. So I did like a dove, a peace symbol, rainbow. Those are all different things that are kind of about peace because we're going to enter them in the YAM Youth Art Month show. When you put everything away, there's a picture at the bottom that shows you how we need to put it away and make sure that all the brushes are very well taken care of, that we don't mess up their hair by putting them upside down or with their hair toward the bottom. Um, it kind of tilts in the box here, so the lower part should be where the feet are and the upper part should be where the head, the hair is.